The question says find angle QPR. Angle QPR. So this is the angle they want you to find. All right. So how are we going to find this angle here? So the information that you've been given is that eh, this side is equal to this side. So which means this triangle here is an isosceles triangle. And an isosceles triangle, the two base angles, this angle and this angle, are equal. Okay? So now, how are we going to find this angle here? So since this is the north and this is the north, for us to find this angle, first of all, let's find this angle here. And we are going to use this angle to find it, this angle here. So let's consider extending this north so that we find this angle here. So let's consider extending the north like this. All right. From the top north coming like this up to this line, this north here, the, the, the extended north here, the total angles or the sum of angles is 100 180 degrees because this is a straight line so out of the total angles which is 180 degrees we have been given uh, 150 so meaning we can find this angle here okay so we're going to say 180 minus 150 uh, and that gives 30 degrees so meaning this little angle here is 30 degrees all right again when you look at this north and this north, they are parallel lines. And this line here is a transversal. So this angle is alternate to this angle. And alternate angles are equal. So meaning this angle also is 100 degrees. This angle is also 100 degrees. So now you can see that we have found the entire of this angle. So meaning this entire angle here is... 130 degrees because 100 plus 30 you get this so we are going to use now this angle to find this angle but remember this is an isosceles triangle uh, and an isosceles triangle has the base angles that are equal so this angle this base angle is equal to this angle okay so with that information we are going to give this angle here as x let's give it a letter a non letter x but remember this angle also is equal to that angle so meaning even this one is an x so for us to find this angle we are going to say x plus x plus 130 degrees you should get 180 degrees we are using the property of the sum of angles in a triangle is equal to 180. When you add this angle plus this angle and this angle, you should get 180 degrees. So x plus x is 2x plus 130 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. So we're going to have 2x is equal to uh, 180 degrees minus 130 degrees. So we have 2x is equal to 180 minus 130 gives 50 degrees. To get the value of x, we divide through by a 2. So x is equal to 25 degrees. So meaning this angle here is 25 degrees so this means that you can now conclude and say therefore angle qp r is equal to 25 degrees so this is angle qp r right so this is part a solutions part b they are saying calculate the bearing of p from r the bearing of P from R. So which means they want you to find the bearing of P whilst you are standing at R. So how are you going to find that bearing? Um, 
you draw the north at a point where you are standing. Okay? You draw the north at a point where you are standing here. Because they are saying P, the bearing of P from R. So you are standing at R. So you draw a north at R where you are standing. The north like this. Okay, so this is the north. You indicate that it's a north. And bearing is measured clockwise from the north. So we are going to move from the north clockwise until we reach the line that connects P and R. So we move like this clockwise until we reach this line that connects P and R. P and R. So meaning this is the bearing they are asking you to find. Okay? So now how are you going to find this bearing? Okay? Remember this X here, X we found that it's 25 degrees. So for you to find this bearing, you are supposed to say 360 degrees, which is the complete 10 or the complete revolution, minus this angle plus this angle. So meaning we need to know this angle first. How are we going to know this angle? When you look at this north and this north, they are parallel lines. And this line here is a transversal, meaning this angle, 30 degrees, is alternate to this angle here. So meaning even this angle also is 30 degrees. So now for us to find uh, this bearing, we are going to say 360 minus 25 plus 30. Okay, so we are going to say uh, this is now B uh, bearing of P from R. So we're going to say 360 degrees, which is a complete 10, the full revolution, minus these two angles. So 25 degrees plus 30 degrees. Okay? So we have 360 degrees minus 25 plus 30 is 55 degrees. So 360 minus 55 is 305 degrees. So this is the bearing of P from R. Alright, if you are with me up to this point, it means you are enjoying what I'm doing. Please hit the subscribing button, comment, like and share.